Well, supporting families in need this Christmas. With the help of our friends over at the Virginia Credit Union, our Julie Bragg teamed up with the Richmond Kickers and Bon Secours for this special CBS 6 Gives. And we're back here at the station now where we have a generous gift from Little Hands Virginia, some diapers for the baby. We also have a fluffy blanket, a sweet little stuffed animal, some wipes in here, and a book. And then from all of us at CBS 6, we're also giving a gift card to the family for groceries. We've called you here for a very special news conference. I'm teaming up with Kickaroo, the Richmond Kickers, and Bon Secours for a very special CBS 6 Gives. And we have our head coach, Darren Sawatsky here. And coach, why is this so important for your team to give back to the community during, during the holidays? Well, you know, it's a joyful time of year. Um, and partnering with our uh, health provider, uh, Bon Secours, uh, you know, with the Richmond Kickers, we're, we're just super excited to give something back, you know, and, and you talk about Dan Rowe, the legendary Santa of Richmond, and, and just uh, everything uh, that's happened with him in, in the history. We're just excited to be a part of giving something back to uh, the frontline workers uh, here in Richmond. And I love that. I love honoring him because he has been Christmas for so many decades and so many Richmond families. Values in Action program has been happening for about 30 years in the Bon Secours system. Um, and it is designed to serve Bon Secours employees who have young children um, in order for us to be able to help them at Christmas. Um, they have to have experienced a hardship or a tragedy in the year that made it difficult for them to prepare for the holidays for their children. The fact that our health partner Bon Secours uh, works so well with us and, and we have such a good relationship, we just, we really wanted to benefit uh, uh, some families that have had a little bit of harder time. I'm always humbled every year because the stories I hear about what these families are going through and then I know that this person comes to work and works and does their job and supports our patients or supports our frontline workers who are supporting our patients. And it's overwhelming to know that they're going through things so difficult and they're still so committed to the work that they are set out to do. That kind of wraps it up for us right now. We want to thank everyone for their generosity. We're going to gather up all these goodies. We're going to get them to Bon Secours so they can get them into the hands of our families. I love it. Absolutely love it.